Hey guys, it's Brandon from the Cornea Service at Wills Eye Hospital. I was looking through my YouTube page the other day and I realized that a video that I posted years ago on how to tie a seeps or not is one of the most popular videos I have on my YouTube channel. And I watched it, it's not that good. So what I thought would be a neat idea would be to go through and show different kinds of intraocular knots in different videos, show the paper plate model, how to tie the knot in the paper plate model, and then show how to tie that knot in a surgical video. So first you see the paper plate and then we'll show it in a live video. So the first knot that I'd like to put out there on YouTube is the seeps or knot version two. So All right guys, when it comes to tying a sliding knot, you'll need a couple things, a Tenno polypropylene suture, a long curved needle like the CIF4 or CTC6L. Here we have our, our paper plate model with an iris defect. We're going to put the CIF4 needle through a paracentesis and wiggle as we go, and then through both the proximal and distal ends of the iris defect. You'll then push this through the limbus or through a small paracentesis. We'll make sure our suture gets through our iris defect and pull this suture all the way through. You just want a little strand of suture outside the eye. Now we'll take some kind of a positioning hook and we're gonna go in through the paracentesis and we're gonna grab the suture between the distal iris defect and the exit wound. And we're gonna hook the suture and draw it back out of the paracentesis. Now we're always gonna orient the suture in the same orientation. This is our original end of the suture. The middle strand goes through the peripheral iris defect and the upper strand goes all the way through and outside the eye. Now I like to use a, a straight and a curved tire for this. I like to point the curved tie out as if it's pointing out through the paracentesis. And we're gonna grab our middle strand and we're gonna do one, two throws of the suture and we're gonna grab the free end. We'll then pull these loops, holding onto the free end, pull on the opposite side of the eye and that's gonna pull the knot into the eye. And that's your first throw of a 2 one, one We'll then come back with our bond hook or lens manipulator or whatever you're going to use, condon snare, and reorient the suture the same exact way. The bottom strand is your original free end. The middle strand is the other end of the knot. The upper strand goes all the way through the anterior segment. Take your curve tie, point it towards you or out of the wound. We're going to now wrap the other direction. The first time I wrapped towards the free end, this time we'll go away, grab the free end of the suture, pull it through the loop, and we'll pull the second strand, or sorry, the second part of the knot into the eye. So now we have our two one of a two one one. Let's get our strand one more time. And again, we're going to use the exact same orientation. Strand one, two, and three. And we'll tie that strand, that last piece of the knot, the same direction as the first, but this time it's just a single throw. Grab our free end of the suture, pull it through the loop, and pull that into the eye. And that, my friends, is the condom modified seeps or sliding knot. Hopefully you can apply this to your own patients. Okay, so now that the paper plate model is done, let's look at a surgical video. And this is a patient with a traumatic cataract. We'll be taking that out pretty quickly. And you can see in the, uh, right over the, the corneal sutures, there's an iris defect. And once we get this cataract out and the lens implant in, um, it's gonna be time to fix this iris defect. And we're gonna do that using a uh, condom modified sliding knot. So cataract is done, we're giving some myostat, and you can see that little irregularity in the pupil, and it does allow the edge of the implant to shine through. So just like in the paper plate, through a paracentesis, we're taking our 10O polypropylene suture. This is a CIF4 needle. There goes the proximal and distal portions of the uh, iris defect. We're just going to push the needle right through the limbus. In this case, I don't have an exit wound or an exit paracentesis. And we'll go back and we'll recover our suture. Remember, this is so important to have your sutures lined up, strand one two and three so i'm actually holding onto the free end of the suture there to make sure i don't mistakenly pull it into the eye in this surgery i'm using what's called the condon snare which is that little latch hook device to help recover the suture 
And you'll see a lot of instruments on the eye. I'm explaining to the resident how to do this case. And this is the first pass. Remember, it's a 2 one, one So two suture throws will pull the loops through the free end of the suture, grab both ends. And as we pull on both of those free ends, the knot gets pulled into the eye and magically we'll see that iris defect reapproximate. There it goes. So that is the first of the throws. Usually we do three. It's a two, one, one knot. So we'll go back with our condon snare. We'll grab that distal loop of suture between the iris defect and the exit wound. Line up our sutures one, two, three. And this time we're going to do a single throw in the opposite direction. Pull the loops through, pull both free ends, and it's going to pull that throw into the eye. Now this is where you have to be careful because you do have that knot started. And you want to be really careful as you recover and pull your sutures to make sure you don't mistakenly pull the knot out of the iris. So this is throw number three. Again, we're going the original direction, the same direction as the first portion of the knot. Pull the loop through, grab both free ends, pull the knot into the eye, and now we've completed our 2-1-1 knot. All that's left is to grab a micro scissor and cut the suture ends free. So at the end of this case, we've successfully removed a traumatic cataract and used a condom-modified sliding seeps or knot to repair a likely symptomatic iris defect. Once again, guys, this is Brandon Ayers from Will's Eye Hospital. That was the condom-modified seeps or sliding knot. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and now you can apply it to your own patients. Thanks for watching.